What it do, man? It's your boy Battle Truth coming to you live and direct from the Battle Truth headquarters. Let's get right off into this, man. So Drew Down did an interview on um the art of dialoguing platform, man. Uh and I guess he he was opening up some things that was that was said out here that we always wanted to know what was true. And some of the things he gave clarity on, like he spoke about was Pac really having sex with Jada Pickett? Because according to her, her and Pac were just friends. Drew Down even said he had some too. He was hitting it too. Drew Down said without a doubt he know Pac was hitting it just like he was hitting it. That's what he said. Uh, he also brought up that Pac really had sex with Faith Evans because you know since him and Biggie dead, they tried to clean up. I hated that movie, Notorious. Y'all remember that movie, Notorious? That they did about Biggie Small? That Puffy them did? You could tell his hand was all in it. They tried to clean up everybody image except for Pac. They had Pac in the movie like he was just crazy, deranged out of his mind. And everybody else was just on some peaceful type things and was trying to live life the right way. Like, come on, man. Stop it, man. I couldn't stand that movie. I hated that movie. Because it was so... It was so fake. You knew they were trying to clean up everybody's image. Trying to clean up everybody's image. Trying to make Puffy seem like he wasn't a, a, a snake or a rat. Like he popping knowledge. And then we find out what? This man had contracts with the Crips. They're allegedly talking about this man literally had a $2 million hit out on Pac, really showing that he had ties with them and all this dirty stuff going on behind the scenes. Then try to make it seem like Big them may have no knowledge of Pac being shot at Quad Studios. Like the man just, come on, man. They're just trying to clean up everybody's image, man. They ain't going to try to make it seem like in the movie, Faith Evans didn't have sex with Tupac when Biggie confront her about it and come to her hotel room and make it seem like they ain't finna get in a fight and she talk him out of it like, no, I never touched him. All I did was a song. And then she snatch away from him, get mad, and now he feeling bad because he was accusing her of laying down with Pop when she really didn't lay down with Pop, trying to make it seem like Pop was lying because he put it on the song, he had sex with her, and she trying to make it seem like he just doing it because y'all into it with each other, but I never touched him. And then Big believed her, and then, a, and then a, that heated moment where he was intense, like he was finna beat her up for sleeping with Pop because that was his wife, he started singing to her. Man, stop it, man. You know what's so fake about these people? They act like this stuff ain't already out here to show the proof that they actually did have sex together. Biggie Small was Faith Evans' husband. Husband. He did a whole video, Get Money, reenacting Faith and Tupac having sex. Faith is the woman in the video. You want to sip more on my living room floor? Play Nintendo and a little more. The whole video is a lookalike Faith Evans and a lookalike Tupac. Your husband knew you had sex with that man. We know Pop. You think Pop finna go and hit him up? And confront Biggie on the track and say, that's why I had sex with your wife, you fat mother. You think that man finna sit there and front like that and put his whole career on the line, lying on his penis when at this time he the hottest dude in the game? You think that man was really finna risk all that just on some lying stuff? It's obvious Biggie believed it was true. So Biggie didn't deny it. Biggie come, Biggie come and do the song talking about it. 
Biggie do the Biggie do the song talking about it. Then he even got another song where he said if fake got pregnant, it'll be two pops. You get it? Two pops. He got a rap saying that. So if her husband doing songs, basically letting it be known, my wife was having sex with that dude. Man, ain't nothing she can say. Ain't nothing they can say. They think people just stupid, man. Come on, man. She all... She know Pac and her guy, her husband don't get along. She know they rival beefing with each other. So why you at the studio with your man's enemy doing hooks and verses for him to go against your man? Think about that. She in the studio with Pac doing hooks of songs for Pop that going against her husband, knowing they into it with each other. See, this is what I mean by people who ain't smart to life have no idea. That's what a lot of women do. Like when your woman mad at you and she know Biggie out there having sex with all these girls, she know her and he, he, him and Lil' Kim screwing and all that stuff. She ain't trying to look like no sucker like that. She trying to get even. By messing with his enemy. That's what some women do. I know women like that. I know women like that. It happened to me. It happened to me. My baby mama started messing with my enemies. Because they so deceitful. You trying to get rid of both of us and you don't care. Because you would rather see me dead or locked up to see me with another woman. So you mess around with my enemies. Women do that type of stuff. That's what she did. That's what she did. She really wanted to stick it to him. And you know the thing about a woman is they don't really think things through fully. At that moment, they vengeance is all they want. They just want, they just want payback. And they deal with the consequences after. Man, you wouldn't believe how many dudes was locked up in prison with me as a result of something that they girlfriend, wife, or baby mama did. What you locked up for, man? My baby mama, man, she set me up. Oh, man, my girl, man, she called my P.O. on me. Oh, man, this and And you know what would be crazy? Guess who they'll be on the phone with? Same baby mama set them up. Same girl who called his P.O. on Because that's how women is. I'm sorry, babe. I'm so, I, I don't even know why I did. I was just so mad. I don't know. Yeah, girl, you shouldn't have did that, man. Man, dude, you need to go down to my P.O., man. You need to tell him that you was just mad. You was in your feeling. It was a lie. I didn't do that, and that, that was yours. Okay, babe, I'm going to go down there and do it. I'm going to go down there and do it. Too late now. Saw that many times. Saw a girl do that to my brother. Girl did that to my brother. She was mad at him because he was messing around with this other girl. She started messing around with his enemy. And keep in mind, both of them shooters. My brother a shooter and his enemy a shooter. She started messing around with him. Right. Right. Guess what happened? Use your imagination. Right. Terrible. They try to sell it to us, though, like we stupid. 
like we stupid. Come on, man. Everybody know two podcast sex with her. But not since both of them dead. <coughs> she trying a lot to clean up her image so she won't look like she's scandalous. Like, get up out of here. Drew Down also said in that interview, he was in the hotel room when Faith Evans came into the hotel room and went in Pac bedroom. He said she came in the room. I mean, she came in. She had a hoodie on and thing, trying to cover her, hide herself from who she was with the glasses on. She came in the room like, hey, Drew. Because Pac told her he was in a hotel with Drew, Drew now. And she went in the bedroom. Come on now. Duh. That's what she there for anyway. No disrespect, but she was married to Biggie. That's pop. She didn't upgrade it. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? You wanted to believe Biggie could get some, but pop couldn't get none. And <laughs> he the number one dude in the game right now. That's what she there for. She didn't care about no hook. She didn't care about no verse. And that's the game. That's part of the game right there. You think Pac really needed Faith Evans to sing on a verse? That was part of the game. <coughs> Pac all in the studio with Michelle A, Jewel. He didn't need no Faith Evans to be on his tracks. When he the number one dude in the game. That's part of the game. Like, hey, where you at? Hey, yeah, I want to book you. I want to book you to sing on my uh, record. Could you do that? Sure, sure, I'll do it. Yeah, well, we sending you your deposit. That game. That's just to get you in my presence. Yeah, I'm going to put you on this record, but I'm going to do collateral damage. Yeah, because I know once you get around me, you know, I know once you accepted that money, and you accepted that call from me, that let me know you wanted me. That's how Pop look, looked at it. If I call my enemy wife, and I'm hollering, and she talking to me on the phone, oh, it's a wrap. Because a real wife going to be like, nigga, how you get my number? Don't call me, nigga. Don't call me. My nigga, my nigga, what? And I'm telling my nigga, hey, you know that nigga Pop called me, right? Tried to get me to. That's what a woman going to say that's down for her husband. But when she was taking that call from Pac and, yeah, I could do that. What's the name of the song? Oh, that's tight. Let me hear it. Trying to keep him on the phone long. Let me hear it. What did you rap to? Let me hear your verse. That's tight. That's tight. Yeah, yeah, I could do it. When you want me there. Okay, I could be there. I could be there uh, at that time. How long do you want me to stay? Three days, four days? Okay. Okay, so because you know I got to get some stuff together. I got to tell old boy. Okay, I can do that. Okay. Um, in California, right? Okay. Okay, I could be there. I could. They know each other's schedules. Booking her at the time where she know he got to show somewhere else. He way on one end of town, she on the other end of town. He can't go to the West Coast. Pac alive, he can't go to the West Coast. We gonna fly you out west. Oh, he ain't coming out yet. It is what it is, man. These people so lot so much liars, it ain't even funny, man. It's your boy Battle Truth. It ain't my judgment, that's a question. It's yours. Subscribe to Battle Truth.